okay so this is question three which is as follows uh, the arrow diagram below represent a relation from set a to set b so the arrow diagram below represent a relationship a relation from set a to set b so as you can see a has two three four and b has zero one two then the first question is if x is equal to a and y is equal to b write the formula for the relation write the formula for the relation this time they are not asking us to write the function but to write the formula okay so just like i've been saying in the previous video what we're going to do first we're going to write y is equal to then what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the image of elements in a so the images are those elements which are found in b okay so we're going to focus on that area the one of second in in purple okay so what is what is the relationship between one and zero and two and one you can see that the numbers starting from zero coming down they are increasing by one so there the, the it's like when you have zero to get the next number you add one which gives you one when you are on one to get to the next number you add one which gives you two okay so the relationship there the is positive one okay then that is positive one multiplied by x okay so that is what is there those that the positive one is the difference of those um, images okay of elements in a okay so now now let's come to here where it is two the one of second in, in yellow now the question we are going to ask ourselves is what can we do to two for us to get the answer which is zero what can we do to two for us to get the answer which is zero so two minus two will give us zero so we can subtract two from two the same thing here we can ask ourselves to say what can we do to three to get one the answer is we subtract two from three then we will get the answer which is one what can we do to four to get the answer which is two we can subtract two from four to give, which will give us the answer which is minus two when you subtract four when you subtract two from four who give us the answer which is two so as you can see in all these numbers we are subtracting two okay so we can put two there now that is the formula we've come up with but it's not yet simplified yet okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to write y is equal to now we know that one x is, is, is as good as x one x is equal to x so you can write that one as y is equal to x then minus two so the formula for this uh, relation is y is equal to x minus two okay that's a formula okay now let's use that formula to find the answer for question two which is find the value of x when y is equal to negative one so i'm going to use that formula to find the answer okay so i'm going to replace a y by negative one so i'm going to write negative one is equal to then we write x minus two okay on the ref, on the right side of the formula or the equation we have not done anything we have just replaced y by negative one okay what we're going to do now we're going to put like terms together okay as you can see negative one and negative two these are like terms they are numbers without variables so we are going to put them together okay so i'm going to write negative one then two close the equal sign and become plus then negative one will be negative one plus two which is equal to x okay then let's let's work out that expression negative one plus two will give us one which is equal to x 
So the value of x when y is equal to negative 1 is 1. Okay? So we can say, therefore, the value of x is 1. So basically, this is how you solve equations, or this is how you solve questions that involves uh, functions or questions on function, and they are brought it out like that. You just solve like I have been doing. Thank you so much for watching. It has been easy learning Z mathematics. The future is bright. God bless you.